Welcome to our second lesson of guitar for beginners. If you haven't watched the first lesson, it may pop up over here. Please click it first and I recommend you to watch it first before you watch this video because it is very important that you need to understand the fretboard of your guitar and its note first before understanding of our lesson today which is sharps and flats. By the way, the link of the lessons I mean, the link of the first lesson is in the description also, so you can check it. In the first lesson, we understand that there is a note in every fretboard over here that we should know. This is F and this is G. And as you see, we made two fret steps so that we can go to our next note, which is F to G. The same with G to A, A to B. But the exemption is that E to F has only one fret jump and B to C has only one fret jump. The thing is, how do you call the note in between of those two fret jump? Like for example, in from F to G, there is one note that we haven't talked about over here. How do you call this? And this is the purpose of this lesson. This note over here, the note in between the jumps of the two notes is called sharps or flat. Yes, it can be called sharps. It also can be called flat. Now let's define first what is sharp and what is flat. Sharp means one step higher or one fret higher in guitar and flat means one step lower or one fret lower in guitar. What I mean is this. This is your F and if you're gonna do one fret higher, so over here, this is called F sharp. This is your G, one fret lower is here, so this is called G flat. In other words, if this is a F sharp, it is also called G flat because F is here and G is here. F, F sharp, G, G flat. The same thing between G and A. This is your G, one fret higher, which is sharp, G sharp. A, one fret lower, which is flat, a flat. This is A, this is B. If you are going to make one step higher from A, it is A sharp. So it is A sharp over here. And it is also called B flat because B is here. One step lower, one fret lower, which is flat. So it is called B flat. This is A sharp or B flat. How about the notes like E and F and B and C? They are only one fret between each other. This is E, this is F, this is B, this is C. Another example, this is E, this is F. This is your B, this is your C. How are you going to do that? Does it mean do they have flats, do they have sharps? The answer is yes and no. Why? Sharp is one fret higher. So, if this is your E, if you wish to make E sharp, which is over here, it can be, you can call this E sharp, but we call it F. That is why, yes and no. The same thing with B to C. This is your B, this is your C. The sharp or B is C. But we do not call it B sharp, instead we call it C. The same thing with C to B and F to E. C doesn't have flat. The flat of C is B, but we call it B. The same thing with F. F has a flat, yes and no, because the flat of F is E, but we do not call it F flat, but we call it E. These principles of sharps and flats in notes is the same in chordings. For example, this is your E over here. Now, if you wish to do E sharp, so it must be this one. But we don't call it E sharp, we call it F. Then one fret higher, this is your F sharp. One fret higher is already G. One fret higher is your G sharp. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. Now the same with flats also. This is F sharp that is also called G flat. This is G sharp which is also called A flat because A is over here. This is A sharp and it is also called B flat because B is here, one fret lower, it is B flat. The same thing with our lower chords like this. This is your A, this is your A sharp, but 
it is also called B flat. This is your B, and if you want to do B sharp, it must be this one, but we do not call it B sharp, instead C. C sharp, also called D flat. D sharp, also called E flat. F, E, F, F sharp, also called G flat, G. Very easy to understand sharps and flat. Sharp is one fret higher, B is one fret lower. Remember that it will help you as you continue your journey in learning guitar. Thank you so much for watching. I want you to watch our next lesson, the lesson three, which is talking about the major scale. It may pop up over here or the link is in the description below. And if you're not yet part of our community, join us by hitting the subscribe button, give me thumbs up and Comment down below as to what do you think about this lesson. Thank you so much and we'll see you next lesson. Bye!